So you got a tear in your carpet and you need to know how to patch it. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to get that done, but let's do a little story time and explain how we got this tear in this carpet. What's good, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and we were doing a carpet installation. We had the AC blasting. We burned a seam about four inches off the wall and I made the rookie mistake of trying to blast it on with my kicker and the carpet was too stiff for that good, good kick and we just tore the seam there. Now. Now, obviously your scenario probably isn't the same as this, but the repair principles are going to be universal. So we're going to cut out that bad section here. Hopefully you have an extra piece of the same carpet you have already installed laying around. And when I cut it out right there, I was able to put two straight edges in place. Now having a little bit of experience in the industry, I'm able to just do some freestyle cuts and put some clean, fresh edges on this carpet. If you don't have that, don't worry. You're just going to use a straight edge to go ahead and cut the backing, get a nice clean edge on it and then we're going to line it up so our running seam i know is straight we're good to go there we're going to go ahead and fold that down just make sure everything's nice and manageable to make it that much easier to put everything back together we're good there lob that down all right cool cool looking good let's go over here to this side is everything lining up i don't know if it's not we're going to trim it down Look at this, we just got to slice a little bit off of there. And this is when having a super sharp blade is key to your success. If you got a dull blade, it's going to be all bad. So for you, you need a straight edge, you need a knife with a super sharp blade, and you got to make sure you're not going to lob your hands off. Look at my thing, fingers there, man. All taped up, looking crazy. I got duct tape, I got painter's tape. It's been a rough week here. So we're going to go ahead and put some seam tape under the first seam here. I'm going to bring iron into play. I'll also do other videos showing you how to do this without using seam irons. But if you have access to one, or if you want to get wild and use a house iron on it, do it up. Just know you'll never be able to use that house iron for ironing clothes again. But who does that anyway? In our busy world, we throw them in the dryer and we go. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and slide this seam iron forward. Just an iron's length each time. We're going to melt that seam tape. We're going to blend in the carpet fibers with our fingertips, making it magically disappear because that's how we get down in my world. And as we blend them in, we're going to take the iron, slide it forward again, blend in that section. And a main trick to keep in mind when you're doing this here is that when you put the seam together, do not let the fibers fall down in the glue. You want the backings of both carpets to line up perfectly or as close as possible. This will prevent any fibers from falling into the glue and getting all clunky and messy and all that stuff. So, all right, we got the first seam put together, but we got this little cross joint over here we got to put together as well. And then we're going to stretch everything back into place. So we got to blend that in. Okay, everything's looking good. Let's jump on this cross seam here. So we'll put a little piece of seam tape there. We're going to go ahead and rip off exactly what we need. And since I'm down to the nitty gritty right here, I got to fold it up like this to make sure it's not going to roll back up on me. Peel that back just a little bit. Set that right there. And we're going to do it at an angle on this one just to go ahead and burn the tape. Stick with me here. Because if we try to line it up perfectly under the seam, the iron's going to be all janky and not fit in there properly. So we're going to start at an angle. We're going to get that tape nice and melted. Just give it a little slide on the iron, melt it, make it nice. All right, let's get that out of there. All right, everything's good there. Now we're gonna take the seam tape and we're gonna spin it lengthwise now so it's gonna be perfectly halfway under each one of those seams. Once it's lined up, we're gonna drop it right down onto that. Take your time on this part, you don't wanna get crazy. Go ahead and blend it in with your fingertips once you got it lined up. And once it's everything's disappeared, give it a good 10, 15 minutes, make sure it dries, and then try stretching it back in without tearing your carpet. Or in your case, it was probably a cat that tore it. So go ahead and you'll be good to go.